Thank you, Enrique. Um, we are not done yet with performance. So uh, next to ARCHICAD, uh, we are working uh, very hard on improving the performance of our BIM Cloud uh, version coming out with ARCHICAD 23 as well. Uh, much larger you know, project environment, many more uh, files on the same BIM Cloud, as well as much uh, faster uh, uh, opening of uh, BIM Cloud projects. But let me talk uh, a little bit about still um, not the cloud, the uh, local uh, performance. And uh, I think uh, you agree with me that next to speed, also size belongs to the realm of performance. So what about uh, project size? Um, on personal computers, uh, it's relatively easy to uh, boost performance by uh, boosting the hardware itself. So adding uh, RAM helps you uh, to, to some extent, so that's a scalable thing. But uh, in the mobile platform, the hardware is set, so you cannot just add memory. So um, it's been a huge bottleneck up until now to display large, uh, actual, real, detailed BIM, uh, BIM projects on mobile devices. Uh, but this is the kind of uh, you know, challenge or problem uh, Graphisoft has always been very good at. Uh, developing software, high-performing software, to low-spec hardware. So uh, let's see what our new uh, latest and greatest BIMX engine uh, can do on uh, low-spec low uh, devices. For that, let me uh, invite Belinda on stage. Belinda? Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Akos. All right. I think we all know the problem that many times Sorry, but you guys need to switch to the iPad. <laughs> Please. Yeah, there we go. So, I think we all know the problem that many times extreme, large, complex, high poly mo models are quite difficult to open on weak mobile and tablet devices. And to be more precise, this is usually not the fault of the app, but of the insufficient memory inside the hardware itself. But with our next-gen BIMX Lab engine technology, we have found the solution to the problem. And I think the best way to show it to you guys is by opening up both applications to give you a direct comparison of both engines. And I'm going to demonstrate the difference to you by first opening up a really, really small, simple, light model, the BIMX Demo Hyper model. And now I just need to make sure that I tap both buttons at the same time. So ready? Three, two, one, go. Yep. All right. You see? <laughs> wait, guys. Wait, wait. <laughs> It's going to get better. So even though this model is quite small, the current engine was still slower in loading it than the new engine. And this model has around about 100,000 polygons, which is really not that much. So that's why let's step up the game. Let's go next level. I'm going to open up a medium-sized uh, model, the Casa Magallon. This one has 1 million polygons, so 10 times more than the previous one. Okay, so. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, so you see that while the current engine still gives you this progress bar to look at, the new engine has already loaded the model incrementally into the scene. Yeah, so very nice, very fast. I think we're on the right track here. Because now, let's go big. And by big, I mean very, very big, because with our next model here, guys, we are trying to deal with 15 million polygons. And believe you me, this is quite a big fish in the world of 3D models. So let's see which engine catches the fish faster. Three, two, one, go. So as I said, 15 million polygons. So uh, in the meantime, let me tell you a little bit about the project. <laughs> So it was uh, designed by our client Archimatica in the Ukraine. It's a residential project, 125 square meters of area. It was finished in 2018 
And again, we're dealing with 15 million polygons, and I guess that's why our current BIMX Pro engine just crashed. I mean, you know, Graphisoft usually doesn't like to kill their own products, certainly not on stage in Vegas, but this time it's looking good for us. So let me show you what just happened. So the reason why our current BIMX Pro engine just crashed was because it just simply couldn't get enough memory on this iOS device. This is how iOS works, but uh, how does our new engine work? Let me open this up. So um, the way we do, is, do it is we, we change the technology in a way that we don't even try to load the whole model into the memory. Nope, we are streaming it. So you see, uh, if you pay attention, if I zoom and if I navigate, you see how it incrementally builds up. This process is called geometry streaming or memory streaming. So that it means that while I navigate, while I pan, while I zoom and do my things in BIMX, it only loads those parts of the model into the scene or into the memory which are just currently visible to me. So whatever is besides me or behind me is not yet loaded into the memory. And this way we can save on system memory, we can um, decrease the file size, increase performance and so on. And I think with this technology we found a pretty good solution in dealing with these heavy polygon models and for both older and newer devices because this little fellow here is around about three years old and has just two gigabytes of memory. So. We're not showing this here on the latest and newest tablet, no. So with this technology, you can now open up any kind of model size on any kind of mobile device. Cool. <laughs> Let me show you another cool thing about BIMX. So just to give you a little bit of context, uh, so far, if you want to get access to the BIMX hypermodel, you first had to download the model, get the BIMX app, and so on and so forth. This worked pretty well for a lot of people, but you know, if you want to quickly and easily share it with your client, you don't want to really give him long instructions on how and where to download the model, how to, you know, where to get the app from, how to update the app. No, you don't want to do that. So what's the solution? We think the best solution is a platform-independent BIMX 3D viewer. So let me introduce to you our new BIMX web viewer. And this means no need anymore to download apps or to update the apps. Nope. You just have a link with which you can share the model with. And then it's right here, up and running, in your preferred browser. And just like in the mobile, a BIMX mobile app, you have the, the 3D model viewer on the right and the hypermodel index on the left. And here you can, you know, access all your 2D documentation. You can slide through the whole 2D documentation sets. You can also access other related uh, drawings right here. And here you have the choice. Do you want to open it up in 2D or 3D? Of course, let's go with 3D. And voila, you see, in your browser, it switches automatically to the drawing. And a pretty cool feature is also that we kept this um, feature of using the drawing as a cutting plane. Now let me just turn this off and hide it here. Uh, let's go back to the home view. Okay, this is our beautiful Graphisoft headquarter in Budapest. And now, with your mouse and the keyboard, as you're used to, you can pan, zoom, navigate freely throughout the model. You can explore the building in a bird's eye perspective. But if you don't feel like a bird and you rather want to walk, <laughs> no problem. Just go ahead, activate the walk mode, which activates the gravity. And here again, use the mouse and the keyboard to navigate. We also have an on-screen joystick, obviously for touchscreen devices, such as the Microsoft Surface, which obviously doesn't have a keyboard. OK, now let's enter the HQ building. And before I show you around, let me switch to my new friend here. So, because now to easen up your navigation experience, you can use 
any kind of external controller, just like this Xbox controller here. Yeah, because just like me, I guess you're all secretly gamers and you know how to use this thing. If not, it's high time. So, because look, it's, it's so much smoother, much nicer. Oh yeah, and if you want, you can have a try this later in the visualization booth. So, now I can show you around. On the left, on the left we have a beautiful, impressive piece of art dominating the lobby area. And on the right, we have a nice, new, hip, redesigned cafe area where we usually sit and sip on our Americanos and espressos and cappuccinos, whatever. Whatever your heart desires, you are more than welcome to pay us a vi visit. So maybe now I can even show you where I sit. And <laughs> since I'm superwoman now, I don't need to take the stairs. I'll just quickly jump up here and let's enter the product manager cave here we have my colleagues sitting and this is right here this is where I sit and guys this is a pretty cool spot because you know right behind me is a wall meaning that no one can see that sometimes just sometimes instead of working I might play some Fortnite here and there just for research purposes, because, you know, my boss sits right here next to me and he doesn't know. Well, now he knows. Sorry, Peter. We can talk about this later. <laughs> okay, let's check out uh, Akos' office. Hmm? So when Akos is not traveling around the world or in meetings, he's really, really busy and working really hard. Oh, sorry, Akos, you know. <laughs> I guess the Fortnite craze is getting to everyone here lately. Anyway, guys, I think you got the message that uh, the point is with this new BIMX WebGL technology, you can now explore the building from your browser really easy, really simply, share it via link, use any kind of navigation tool, yeah, and feel pretty cool in front of your client using this little fellow here. Thank you.